a while ago I got a comment on my book which went kind of like this. Uh, Mr. Young said that he only taught me a purely Taoist type of Nikung which was unstained by any Buddhist techniques. And later in the book I wrote that a um, Tibetan monk was traveling through the Northwest and Mr. Young went to a practice that he taught which causes the uh, skin in the top of your head to open up. Um, this is only for advanced Qigong practitioners who already have the sutures, the bones in their heads open up. If you um, do the right kind of Qigong, you will get an opening in the top of your head, just like a newborn baby has. And with this practice, what happens is on top of that spot, a place forms kind of like a pimple, and then when it pops open, the teacher puts in a piece of straw. Uh, not a drinking straw, but a wheat straw. And they put that in his head, and Mr. Young told me that when that happens, he becomes super psychic. Uh, and it causes no pain. Later on, that heals over, but the bone stays open. So, um, after uh, that happened, Mr. Young told me that it was like listening to a news station 24 hours a day, and 99% of the news was bad. So he didn't really like it. He started smoking cigars and eating steaks to try to turn it off, but it didn't turn off. So, but anyway, <clears throat> the comment by this person said that, uh, you know, Mr. Young only taught um, Taoist techniques, but he had mastered this Tibetan technique, implying that he had somehow taught me this technique, which he didn't. Um, because it's not part of Tian Shan, uh, and that therefore I was a liar because I was taught a Buddhist technique. But what you need to know is that <clears throat> Tian Shan Qi Kung was created before Buddhism or Taoism. It precedes those. And around 4,000 years ago, some Tian Shan monks went south into Tibet looking for like-minded individuals to share their um, knowledge and training with. And the result of that was a school of Bon, which is considered the most powerful school of magic in the world. So what you need to know is that Bon preceded Buddhism. In other words, Bon was part of the Tibetan landscape um, before Buddhism was even invented, before Buddhism came to Tibet. So it isn't really a Buddhist practice. It's a um, Northern Asian shamanistic type of practice, which is where Tian Shan comes from. So, um, Bon, Bon is Buddhist now because the Tibetans are Buddhist, right? But it wasn't originally a Buddhist practice. This is a, when a religion migrates into a new country, they take on um, the practices of those countries, and then uh, some people will think, well, those practices are, or belong to that religion. But they don't. That's just a way of naming things. So, um, the uh, person who made the comments can be forgiven for being an ignorant crybaby, but now you know how this stuff really works. These things existed before the religions did. <clears throat>